what is the fundamental difference, if any, by, between a Nelson concentrator and a Falcon concentrator? One of the big differences is the way we fluidize the rings in the cone. Well, actually, I should say there's two main differences. Um, they're both um, obviously gravity concentrators uh, utilizing fluidized rings for um, recovery of precious metals, so it's an enhanced centrifuge. Um, the difference when you immediately look at a falcon cone versus a Nelson cone is the Nelson cone's concentrating surface is a lot larger. We have a lot more fluidized rings, whereas a, a falcon, if you see a cutout of a falcon cone, has a sort of uh, unfluidized zone and then I think it's like something like four or five concentrating rings um, at the top. And um, um, the fact that we have fluidized rings all the way up doesn't help us at all, but um, uh, we've actually done studies and third parties have done studies where uh, they look at the, the con grades and recoveries from uh, a Nelson cone versus a, a Falcon of, this, of the relative same size and um, our grades are higher, our recoveries are higher with lower concentrate uh, mass. Um, oftentimes uh, They'll say that uh, our water consumption is high, but uh, that's not always the case. There's a yeah, one of those things that's uh, it's tough to quantify. It's, it's always based on your interpretation of numbers. Uh, and, and interpretation There's always a little bit of voodoo in metallurgy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who is the f like the f the godfather of? gravity concentration, is it Nelson or Falcon? I would say it's Mr. Byron Nelson. He started Nelson was first, yeah. You know, yeah, back in the 70s. So he's the Fred Bond of gravity concentration. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the Falcon come out after the patent expired or during the patent? They just well, the, the, the thing is, um, <laughs> what has been patented for us, which brings me to the next difference, is um, the way we drill our uh, fluidization holes. Um, they're the patented design is that they're drilled at an angle so that in the flush cycle, when you're flushing material out, um, the swirling action makes sure that all that concentrate comes out um, quite easily. Uh, with a uh, falcon concentrator, those holes are drilled at a, a right angle, or they're straight, they're per directly perpendicular. And um, because of that, they can't flush the bowl out when it's stationary. So every one of their machines is, is um, supplied with a VFD so that during the flush cycle they, they turn it slowly and they have a wash wand that goes around. Basically it, it rotates and it flushes out the concentrate. So that's another thing in terms of like additional cost to... to uh, and, and, and additional moving parts, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, to be fair, there are situations where, uh, where we would install a variable speed drive on it. Concentrators, um, it's application specific and sometimes process specific. If you really want to mi minimize your downtime between flushes, we can have a VFD with brake on it, and it just, you know, big machine spinning. Instead of taking a minute to spin down, it stops in five seconds. Right? Okay, so I, mean, I guess it's a price war and a, a religion. <laughs> it's, a, it's what camp are you on, right? Yeah. Uh, typically, yeah. Um,